Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a zombie horror film, Viral. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a recording of various news channels talking about a zombie virus that is created by a worm parasite. People are calling this virus worm flu, but the president says that everything is all right. Now we move to a college setting where a girl named Emma is spying on a couple tongue massaging each other. She is suddenly interrupted by her friend Curly, who thinks she's being a creep. Emma denies staring at the couple, and then she is greeted by her crush, Evan. Curly tells Emma to wear revealing clothes if she wants Evan to notice her more often. However, Emma says that Evan might be a bottom guy over a top guy. Now it's time for biology class, and Emma has to dissect a frog. She feels disgusted by this activity, so her bald teacher, Baldy, tells her to take it easy and chew some gum. Emma gets a text from a girl on her period who wants some tampons. She reluctantly goes to give the tampon to the period girl, who ends up touching her head with her smelly hand. Later, Emma meets her sister Stacy and her boyfriend Weirdo, who makes an acquaintance with her. Emma notices that Weirdo's foot has been injured, but he proceeds to practice hormone yoga with Stacy to make her jealous. Stacy spots even and convinces him to come home with her and Emma. After that, Stacy's and Emma's dad comes to pick them up, and he is revealed to be Baldy. It's an awkward ride, and it gets even weirder when Emma's mom calls Baldy. It looks as if the parents are getting a divorce, so Baldy decides to end the conversation early. Stacy dares Emma to grab Evan's smelly part, otherwise she'll tell him that Emma loves him. This makes the sisters argue for a bit, so Baldy asks them to behave. Evan simply smiles because he's getting attention. Evan is dropped off, after which the family meets a strange neighbor. The neighbor asks Evan to give some pliers to his dad, but Evan seems to hate his father. In the evening, the family sits down for dinner, but Stacy keeps looking at her phone, and it makes Baldy upset. He asks her to focus on the family, but Stacy acts like a jerk and talks about how things are going between her dad and mom. Later, Emma video chats with Curly and is shown a video of a zombie attack. Emma gets scared, but Curly says it's nothing to be scared of. Now, Evan throws a paper plane into Emma's room with a drawing of a frog. It makes Emma's eyes light up, so she goes out of the house to see him. Evan tries to be playful with Emma by talking to her over the phone, even though she is in front of him. Their romance is cut short when Evan's dad shows up and makes things very uncomfortable for the couple. Evan feels bad about being humiliated by his dad, so Emma gives him a kiss to make him feel better. Afterward, Emma talks to her dad and asks him if everything is fine between him and mom. Baldy says that things are tough because he just got a demotion, but he reassures Emma that all is well. The next day, Baldy talks about a parasite in class and shows everyone a video clip. He also says that the worm flu could be linked to parasites, and then he shows a video of a rat zombie. Baldy explains the scientific aspect of such a virus, but Evan thinks that this is similar to a zombie outbreak. Baldy rubs it off as a joke, but then Curly starts coughing. Emma worries for her because she knows that Curly's mother has been sick as well. Emma goes after Curly when she runs away from class, but finds her experiencing a seizure on the floor. Emma calls for help, and a boy comes to the rescue. He tells Emma to go to the medical room, but then Curly wakes up. Unfortunately, she seems to be infected, and she spits blood into the boy's mouth rather than giving him a lip service. Later, Emma is questioned by a nurse regarding Curly's health, and then she is escorted by Baldy. The school ends up canceling its classes, and Baldy says he has to go get their mom from the airport. Emma and Stacy hitch a ride home, and Emma tries calling her friend Curly. The call goes straight to voicemail, so she goes to her room. She spots a deer through the window and smiles, but then a helicopter passes by, and the deer vanishes. Now, Baldy calls the girls and says that he's stuck on his way to the airport. However, the entire city has been put in a quarantine in order to stop the spread of worm flu. Since Baldy can't come back, he tells the girls to stay at home and also says not to call any boys over. At night, Emma changes her clothes but gets a text from Evan saying he can see her. She feels shy, but he says that he's only being a gentleman. The girls watch TV and Emma wants to hear the president's speech, but Stacy gets bored, so she changes the channel. Emma goes to the kitchen and hears a weird sound, so she decides to check up on it. A tense sequence follows as Emma walks up to the door and checks if there's someone outside. She gets jump scared, so she immediately rushes to Stacy and asks her to check it out. Stacy acts very casual about the whole thing, so she opens the door without a care in the world. Nobody is there, but then, Weirdo pops up to scare the girls. Emma wants to know why he's here, so he explains that he wants to get freaky with her sister. He chases after Stacy her bedroom, so Emma checks out some online chat rooms discussing the worm flu. She comes across a conspiracy theorist, but keeps getting disturbed by Weirdo and Stacy's hormone yoga. 
The next day, Emma spots some vans in her neighborhood and finds some meals and a disaster kit at the front door. The three check out the disaster kit, which comes with a cautionary message regarding worm flu. However, Weirdo and Stacy don't think much of it, so they fool around with the face masks in the disaster kit. Suddenly, Stacy gets a call from her mom, who seems to be fine, although she's still stuck at the airport. Weirdo gets obsessed with the food that's been sent with the disaster kit, but Emma tells him to control himself because they have limited supplies. Now, Stacy shows up and says that she's going to a house party even though there's a curfew. Emma finds out that Stacy has also invited Evan to the party, so she tags along reluctantly. At the party, Emma and Evan flirt with each other, but Weirdo goes missing, so Stacy goes looking for him. Emma and Evan decide to get a room together, but run into another couple in the middle of their hormone yoga. They eventually find a bathtub where they can chill together, and Evan tells Emma that he likes her. They're about to tongue massage each other, but get disturbed by Stacy, who is fighting with the couple they ran into earlier. It turns out to be Weirdo, who was cheating on Stacy. As Emma tries to console her sister, one of the students turns into a zombie and starts violently attacking everyone. The sisters hide inside a room and peep out of the window to see what's going on. They spot a student getting killed by the zombie, so they try to be as quiet as they can. The girls start walking out of the room, but knock over a bottle that alerts the zombie. Suddenly, the zombie attacks the sexy girls and spits blood into Stacy's face, rather than harassing her body. The zombie goes for the sexy Emma next, but even manages to kill him just in time. The zombie parasite sneaks into Stacy's eye, but she doesn't tell Emma about it. Later, Stacy tries to wash the blood away, and Emma learns that the zombie apocalypse is spreading all over the world. The next day, some army scientists show up to scan the girls for the zombie virus. They are asked if they were in contact with a zombie recently, but Stacy denies it. The girls try to call their parents and eventually get in touch with their father. Baldy orders the girls to lock the doors and windows, after which he also tells Stacy to find his gun. The call gets cut, and then we learn that the Chinese government has started bombing areas with infected zombies. Suddenly, there's a news alert where the president declares martial law. The girls search for Baldi's bald gun, but Emma finds her mom's wedding ring, so she wants to know what's going on between their parents. However, Stacy tells her to relax, because there's nothing to talk about. At night, Emma tries texting Baldi, but her messages can't be sent because of no network. The girls spot their neighbor asking the military to look at his sick wife, but the military forcefully takes her away and threatens the neighbor. Sensing imminent danger, the girls decide to get into their car and leave. Emma goes to Evan's house and tries to call him, but his dad shuts the windows to his house. The girls try to escape in their car, but are stopped by some soldiers. Stacy doesn't listen and tries to talk to the soldiers, but she gets threatened. Luckily, another car shows up, so the soldiers get distracted, thus allowing the girls to go back home. Stacy's infection grows worse, and now the government passes an order, making it illegal to harbor an infected human. Stacy notices an ugly mole growing on her neck, so she tries to pop it with a pin, but it's of no use. At night, the girls sit down for dinner, and then Stacy finally tells Emma that their dad cheated on their mom with one of his students. Emma gets emotional, but Stacy starts to cough aggressively. Suddenly, Evan shows up begging to be let inside, so Emma opens the door, much to Stacy's dismay. It turns out that Evan's dad is now a zombie, and he's chasing after Avon. Everyone wears their masks and tries to be quiet, but they get jump scared when Avon's zombie dad breaks into the house. He slowly approaches Emma with his ugly parasite antennae, but Stacy shows up and shoots him down with her gun. However, she also starts turning into a zombie and coughs up some blood. Emma locks her sister inside the bathroom and discusses a solution with Avon. They decide to trick the army into thinking that everyone is dead in their house by spraying on the wall that there are no survivors there. After that, Emma goes to her sister, who is feeling uncontrollably hungry. She tells Emma to leave while she still can, but Emma says that she's not going to be up on her. Now, Emma does some research on the parasite and figures out she should try to remove it from Stacy. As she sits on the roof, Evan shows up and tries to console her using his muscles, but Emma says she can't leave her sister alone. Unfortunately, Weirdo shows up inside the house to tell Stacy that the army has abandoned the town, so the survivors are trying to make it out on their own. He finds Stacy locked inside the bathroom and offers his hand to her, but she brutally eats it because her zombie instincts have taken over. Emma and Evan rush to the scene and witness the brutal aftermath. Stacy is still able to talk, so Emma and Evan prepare a drug meal that will make her fall asleep. Emma gives Stacy the drug meal and offers her hand as part of a test. The sisters hold hands, and Stacy tells Emma to go find their dad if she doesn't make it. Stacy falls asleep, so Emma and Evan open the door in order to remove the parasite from her. 
Emma chews on some gum to keep herself calm, and then she notices the mole on Stacy's neck, which starts to move around. Emma blocks it with some tape, and this chokes the parasite, so it tries to come out of Stacy's body to breathe. Emma takes this chance to pull out the parasite, and a tense struggle follows. Eventually, it is Stacy who pulls out the parasite, and then Evan kills it. Stacy is back to being human, so Emma feeds her to give her some strength. The sisters have a bonding season, but Stacy is upset to learn that Emma and Evan haven't shared hormones yet. Now, the army monitors the neighborhood and plans on taking action against whoever is still there, zombie or human. Evan listens in on the radio and learns that the nearby areas are getting evacuated. Emma goes to check up on Stacy, but sees her as a fully formed zombie. She gets attacked, but this turns out to be a dream. Unfortunately, Evan tells Emma that Stacy has run away with all the supplies. Emma chases after her sister into another house, and Evan reluctantly follows after her. They find the residents of the house dead at the table, seemingly from suicide. Suddenly, they hear a noise and follow it, hoping to find Stacy. They enter a storeroom and look around for a bit. The tension grows thicker as they find an army of hibernating zombies, with zombie Curly also on the floor. Evan and Emma accidentally make some noise, so they run away from the zombies in a hectic chase. They lock themselves inside a room, where they find Stacy who is going crazy, because the zombie voices are telling her to kill Emma. In an emotional sequence, Stacy turns into a zombie and is about to attack Emma, but she shoots her down. There isn't much time to grieve, as the zombie army breaks through the door. Evan takes Emma away despite her incessant crying, and then they climb up the roof. A fighter jet is about to blow up the neighborhood, so the couple jumps into a swimming pool. They survive the explosion, but all that's left is death and devastation. Now, Emma and Evan walk around town, and Emma finds a photograph of her family stuck on a gas station. It turns out, Baldy has left this picture with a message, stating that he and their mom are in Washington, D.C. Emma is relieved to see this, so she and Evan get into a car and begin their journey towards Washington. The movie ends with the couple sharing a kiss without using their tongues and setting off to find Baldy. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.